The cursed Timmy Turner has a friend, and now it's the cursed Tough Puppy figure selection. Every time I do a Q&A, I'm gonna add another cursed Nickelodeon object to the background. Okay, yeah, I asked a bunch of questions. I got a bunch of answers. Um, we're gonna do them now. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's uh, really all there is. Um, yeah, let's get into the, the questions. So the only Twitter question, of course, comes from the only person who asked me a question on Twitter last time, because of course, I, I freaking hate my life, comes from my friend Pig Wars, who asks, favorite Kirby ability in any game? Beetle. I, I love Beetle, it's my favorite. I think I'm pretty, pretty sure I said this in a video. It's, it's super powerful, it's super versatile. It's my favorite Kirby game of all time, Beetle. And that's it, that's all the YouTube questions, I guess, okay. From Aqua Studios, favorite YouTuber named Aqua that's also your friend. Okay, that seems like a really hyper-specific question, but I actually do have an answer to this. Oh, it's my friend Aqua. Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I have a friend who's a huge Kingdom Hearts fan, Aqua, named him after Aqua. They sadly died in the Cold War, but I really value them as a friend. And they're the only person I know named Aqua, so yeah, them. The Media Lover asks, they have two questions. Question one, what are your favorite movies and cartoons? Doesn't have to be a lot, but I'd love to see what the age content is. Yeah, skipping this question, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> because... Uh, favorite movie is just go to the first question, the first Q&A and answered it. Favorite cartoons? I mean, if you want my favorite cartoons, I've, I've made that pretty clear. Uh, go to the Disney vs. Nick vs. CN video where I ranked all the cartoons from their channels. Yeah, uh, basically, go to the old videos. <laughs> or wait for me to eventually do top favorite cartoons because that's going to be the video I have to do. Like, uh, objectively, I just need to do that. Just one day, probably after I do the adult cartoon walkthrough. What is your favorite video game protagonist or characters? I tell that mine's Sonic. Um, Kirby is probably my favorite protagonist. Uh, he's not deep, but he's he's a silly guy. Again, I, I'm, I'm mostly a, a Nintendo gamer because I don't have a lot of time or money, so I just need to focus on one thing. So yeah, it's probably just the obvious things of Link, Sonic, Mario, Shovel Knight for indie characters, stuff like that. My good friend, Robin, I'm censoring this one thing that they said, because it's not a question, and we're gonna be sent to the grinder. Can you just show off all your animals real quick? Okay, thanks, cool. This is my cat, Bluey. This is my cat, Turbo. This is my dog, Fritz. This is my dog, Billy. Would you rather have unlimited bacon, but no games, or games that, oh, we all know this, freaking, everyone knows this freaking question, you're not, you're not tricking me, I, I know it says, no games and games. You can't freaking trick me, Robin. And final question, why do killer? I was so hungry, John. AW Productions uh, has a couple questions. Favorite and least favorite death battle. This was asked last time, only the favorite part, not the least favorite. Um, but it has changed because Bill Cord is now out and that's like peak fiction. Scooby Courage is a very close second. Least favorite would be the one everyone hates. Just be a wreck of black, obviously aged very poorly and just not just interesting, not interesting fight even if you divorced from that. Everyone already knows that stuff so sucks. Yeah. What do you think of sharks? I love sharks. They are little guys and I want to pet them and kiss their foreheads. What's character you want death battle that has no good matchups? If you asked me this a little beforehand I would have said Inkling but my, my friend introduced me to Inkling versus Fall Guys and that's that's a lot of fun. Rosalina is probably the big one because I, I would say I love Rosalina but she just doesn't have that many good matches. It doesn't really work because it's mostly just for, for, for scaling wise mostly just she scales to Mario, and also she blew up the universe one time. <laughs> so yeah, probably Rosalina. Cartoons you want to get into, but really just can't. I mean, I would say like like all the big, like really long running adult cartoons, but that's what's good this time. And I will get to them probably next year when I want because I want to do an adult cartoon watch through. Not a cartoon, but anime. I tried to watch Devilman Crybaby, but it is not a me show. It's it's good. It's just not for me. Gator Gaming uh, has two questions. What is your favorite Pokemon? Turtwig. What's something you like that most people hate? Um, so I got this question last time. I said like the Disney, the Disney stretch DVD sequels. I wouldn't say people hate it, but Steven Universe probably like the the uh, thing that's like I love this show that everyone else says is bad, but obviously it has a big fandom. Recent one, I really like the Marvels. I thought Marvels was actually a pretty good film, but that seems to be like everyone hates it for some reason. But I, I thought it was, I thought it was good. Invader Nine has uh, not nine questions because I didn't allow that. I would have shot him several times in the chest if he did have nine questions. He only has five. Who is that guy behind you? Timothy Turner. Where's Perry? Perry died in the Cold War with Aqua. Hope for Splatoon's future. Well, I think I think we need some spinoffs. I, I think Splatoon's a big enough series and consistent enough series that deserves some spinoffs. I also wish, um, this is a dumb one, but I hope the next two idols are, it's just two, and they're both human 
like like inkling males because I just want to see how the fandom will react to that because my boy big man bless his soul he is completely stubbed by the fandom because he is a non uh, non human y character. I want some more attention on some of the male characters of the series. Maybe also have like a, like a female, like, 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 stop the dynamic, have like a little more animalistic female character. Best Pikmin type Boldman. This is Tom to debate. Favorite type of animation 2D. Very generic, boring answer everyone else pretty much agrees with, but. It's just naturally a lot more interesting than 3D. It's a lot more varied. Um, there's a reason why a lot of the more popular 3D styles are more like based on 2D, like Klaus, some of the more uh, recent stuff like Puss in Boots 2 or Spider-Verse gets a lot of praise for looking like a, like a 2D movie at points. Early 2D is a lot more interesting than early 3D. It's just, it, it's a generic boring answer. Everyone prefers 2D animation, 3D animation. It's a lot more flexible, uh, but yeah, it, it is, I'm gonna have to say, <laughs> I'm gonna have to say it's 2D. The Gun Show asks, what's your favorite Clone High episode? Literally Kills Literally is not only really, really funny at how it parodies a lot of those old teen drama tropes of the new guy in a very special episode, but it also works, like, surprisingly well emotionally. Like, I didn't cry at, uh, at Ponce's death, but I know a lot of people did, and you know that you hit gold when you somehow hit both the emotional moments and the funny moments. Can you hit the gritty? No. You've had a genie, what would you- The right foot creep. Three where should be. Okay, I'm assuming it's still adding logic. No, so the genie wouldn't be a trickster. He would just give me what I want. No killing, no arriving the dead, no falling in love, and no wishing for more wishes. So my first wish would be getting rid of the infinite wishes rule. Second wish would be infinite wishes. And third wish would be, uh, I don't know, probably something like genuinely nice for the world. I know it's sappy, but I would probably ask that. Fourth wish would be killing anyone who, who draws p p porn characters they like. I'm, I'm probably gonna wipe out like half the universe because of that. What's your favorite album? Weezer. Favorite sport? My knowledge of sports begins as a Mario Golf. Stacy Chiraro Lanza, I sorry if I said that wrong, but asks, when will you start working on your Mickey Mouse reboot video? I did like early this week. It'll probably come out in March. Which do you prefer? Battle for Beam Island or Inanimate and Sandy? I have not watched either of those. Echo the Poodle asks, if Chocolate got a TV movie reboot, what do you think it should be about? I remember back uh, back when Chocolate was still airing, they were planning on doing a movie where Scrawl, who's the main villain, meets up with this uh, kid who was stuck in Chalk Zone and became a Chalk Jong. And that sounds really cool. I would, I would love to see how, like, a, a Chalk, like, a human who became Chalk, like, would work. That sounds really cool. If you could save a show from Seasonal Rot, what would you choose? If I had to go back in time the first Thanksgiving to get a Seasonal Rot show off the menu, it would definitely be Fairy Out Parents, because a lot of the shows that hit Seasonal Rot are still well-loved, even the ones that are currently airing, like The Simpsons, Spongebob, and so on. But the Fairy Appearances has been ruined by its reputation. So if I could, like, get, like, an extra season that's super good, that's, like, on the same level as the old stuff, that gives us a proper finality, because the, the, the show didn't actually have a proper finale, it just kind of ended, then I would definitely do that. If, you ha if I had to pick one that's still going on, um... Probably Spongebob. I think Spongebob's definitely doing a lot better than people think it is, but I don't know, I have a lot of fun with Spongebob. It'd be great if they had like the same level of quality as the first few seasons. What's your most unpopular cartoon community opinion? I don't like most cartoon reviewers. <laughs> I, used, I used to like a lot of the old cartoon reviewers. Uh, I was subscribed to Phantom Strider, Rebel Taxi, uh, Saber Spark, and they just all hit like, <laughs> oh, you can't have a seasonal run. Look at these guys. I just don't like their videos anymore. They either turn to something different, or Saber Spark. Just I don't like. I don't. He's the, he's probably a good guy. I just don't like his content. It's really repetitive, and he's a gooner. I yeah. My my public opinion is I, is it really a popular opinion? No, yes, because I didn't say I, I said I didn't like Saber Spark and Rebel, Ta Rebel Taxi is good. I just don't like the direction his channel took. I wish he still did cartoon videos. <laughs> Two years ago, he he did a video on Cartoon Network on like. Like Cartoon Network, uh, Cartoon Cartoon Fridays. And that was like one of his, my favorite videos of his. But then he just went back to doing old weird game stuff, which isn't as interesting. Because everyone does old weird, weird weird games. I strive to be the first good cartoon reviewer. <laughs> which I, I probably am. I don't have a lot of complication in that field. 
I, I, I do like Nintendo. Nintendo's probably the best. I, I love Nintendo. Are you actually a Weezer fan? Yes, I can name definitely one, more than one song. Ooh -wee. What time is it? It's like 12.36. Oh my gosh, Finn Merton! Mel Force Skirmish has a really long note. Uh, it's actually, it's actually like a genuinely really nice note. Uh, I, I do appreciate this a lot, uh, Skirmish. I'm not gonna read it out loud because that's not what this video is for. But uh, you are right, my audio does suck. <laughs> What's my favorite type of music? I guess alternative rock. If I had to pick a, a style, I'm, I'm not really a music guy. I just kind of watch, I just kind of listen to whatever is on. Can I save the face for a soundtrack? Now to a versus question, I might as well ask, have one here and I got a decent interesting one since you're running your own versus show. I am with Aqua, not the one who's dead. Is there a metric you want to do but can't for one reason or another? But pretty much anyone from like my big list, I would love to do, but they all have problems. Like I would love for there to be animation if we just can't do that. But Pete Pluto is a big one. Like I love Pete Pluto. But I am not researching that. <laughs> He's nearly a century old. I'm not researching that. I'm part of another verse series that uh, we had a few planned, like Finn and Jake versus Mordecai and Rigby, and we, we discussed the Luzanne, but we're just not doing those because Death Bell will hunt to do them. If I were to have a sequel to any movie, what would it be? Monster Inc. Yeah, yeah, probably Monster Inc. Uh, I've been wanting a sequel to that for ever since I was a kid. I like the prequel and I like the TV series, but that's not what I want. I, I want a full sequel where they meet Boo, maybe they have Randall come back. Yeah. Favorite horror game? Freddy Faz... Fe, fe, five, 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 Freddy Five Bear... Fre, Freddy Faz... Faz... Faz Goo... William Afton Springtrap... I don't play a lot of horror games because I am scared of everything. Um... Yeah, I, I haven't played it. it oh my god, it might actually be... It might be FNAF by default, actually. Oh my god, yeah, I think it's FNAF by default. <laughs> I don't play enough horror games, I'm sorry. Bit of an out uh, ball, so I've injected to Elements of Harmony, which is a MLP and Ace Attorney crossover. What is your favorite fan-made series like Mario Bros. Z or Villain's Lair? Oh, frick, uh, probably yeah, it is actually Mario Bros. Z, because I really loved that series as a kid. If it counts, it, it, it's it's not like a web show, it's a web comic, but I would like to bring up Brawl in the Family. That was my childhood. I still go back to that comic a lot. The creator is doing a lot of like new songs for it. But if, if you want like an actual series, it would probably be Mario Z because the, the, that came out in like what 2007, I think, and like the spray animations are like shockingly really good. <laughs> like not through the time, they hold up to this day. Cyan asks, thanks for your articulation and an emphasis on the number of questions you want and how many comments you want for each question. I don't have a question by the way. I just hope you're doing okay. That's cool, Cyan. That's all this video is for. Here's Cyan's real face. Here's his real name. Here's his address. Here's hours he works. Here's his favorite flavor of ice cream. Here's his deepest and darkest secrets. And here's what his house looks like. Perifu asks, if you could play any game for the first time again, as you never played it before, what game would it be? Assuming I, it completely wipes all of my memories of the game, like not just when I played it, like like spoilers and stuff, Mario Odyssey. Because I was spoiling a lot of things for that game. And I just know I would love the experience of experiencing New Dock City and possessing Bowser without knowing them beforehand. And I also thought of like Mario Galaxy and Brawl, those games are way too important to me as a person to completely wipe them. Because, <laughs> like, if you wipe that, you wipe, like, you wipe my personality. Like, Mario Odyssey, I love, but it isn't, like, super connected to me as a person where I feel like you could wipe that for me. <laughs> Dr. Hippo asks, Weezer? Yes, Hippo. Weezer. <laughs> Fredible asks five questions. How long are you lasting in a zombie apocalypse? I'm gonna be annoying and say it depends a lot on a lot of different things. Where do the zombie apocalypse start? What kind of zombies are they? Do I have plants? What is your fight record? Zero one, life beat me. What's with a bag of trailer bone in your bin? I'm not a freaking hyena, Fred. I don't know how to bite through those yet. Ribby with Death Kwando versus Homelander. Homelander uh, is interesting because uh, in his universe, he's like seen as like this really strong like god. But in the, in general fiction, he gets washed, and Rigby is gonna murder him. Okay, Rigby, Rigby. With Death Kwando, he cleared out the entire freaking. He made a giant crater in the park. He destroyed the park. He he started the destruction of the park several times. There's an actual argument. You can scale him to pops. You know the universal ending and he pops. Homelander is dying. Homelander is dead. Oh my god. He doesn't even freaking need Death Kwando. He can beat him regularly. Pirates and ninjas, gotta pick one, no ducking. Why, 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 why would I duck out of this? I, I, I asked for questions. Why would I duck out of this? Pirates. Only one of these guys have K-Roll. Viz asks three questions. What's your favorite Splatoon weapon? Rulers. 
Just any roller. I, I just I just love rolling. Roll, oh, roll. No. What's your most wanted Smash character? Banana Waddle Dee. When are you watching the DBZ movies? Soon. Blue Squid asks some questions. Who are you? Who am I? Who am I? What are you even saying? I'm straight. My name is on my channel. It's right there. Do you ship any cares to any form of media? I mean, uh, mostly just canon ones. Uh, I don't know what this question is for. Mostly canon chips. If you want like fan ones, I like Mifa and Link with more than any other Link pairing. I started ironically shipping DD and Meta Knight before I kind of got into it. Same with like Bajit and Buford. I don't know, I don't have a lot of fan ships. Uh, most of my effort in shipping just goes to being the number one lap dot hater in the universe. Actually, you know what, frick it, uh, new, new thing for, for the genie, uh, kill anyone who ships an Arrow Ace character. Who are you? It's a me, Mario. What are you excited for what's coming up? Coming to Panda 4 is probably the big one. Uh, the, the new Peach game seems cool. Uh, there's probably some more, I don't know. Last time I asked you if you knew anyone else with dementia, but I don't, I don't know who, who does. You know Elsa wish from Dimension? Oh, frick, I asked another question. Who are you? Someone who really liked to hit a thousand subscribers, you guys can help. Someone who wishes to remain anonymous asks, what's your thoughts on Super Mario Logan and SMG4? I have not seen anything from, uh, from Mario Logan. Uh, I've seen a few SMG4 videos. Uh, they're fine for what they are. I have never got super into them. Do you put Pinterest in zombies? Not actively, but I did when I was younger. What are your favorite animated movie villains? It would take me way too long to just like say I'm alive. So I'm just gonna say, uh, here's the top five for Disney. Here's the top five for DreamWorks. And here's the top, let's say 10 for other things. What's your thoughts on the Disney Channel animated villains music video, Evil That I Can Be? I'm planning on discussing uh, the broken karaoke in an upcoming video. This is cheesy, yeah, but I love this so much. This is just so much fun. I love that they include a lot of like, the more obscure villains. Not just like for more obscure shows, from like the shows they represented, they also include more obscure villains. There's a lot of like clear love in it. Uh, most of the singers are really good. It's really nice to finally see uh, King Andrea sing because he is robbed of a song from Amphibia. I love that they have Lord Hater in it, that Lord Hater is like, it even gets like a, a like, a, like, the, that it, Lord Hater even gets to talk. Like, uh, yeah, it's it's great. I, I That's probably the best broken karaoke. Probably the, the best thing from any of like the recent like Disney uh, commercial series. Top five Shakespeare's Sha Sha production videos. It's gonna take way too long to, for me to think, so I'm, again, I'm just gonna flash up the top five here. Bogus B asks a few questions. Okay, wait, this is this is the guy who really likes Evangelion, right? So like, oh, these are all like Evangelion references, aren't they? He asks two classical music songs. I like, I love classical music. I don't know the names out of my head for most of them, so I, I can't say anything. How many times do I have to freaking acknowledge that yes, I have in fact seen Evangelion? I'm pretty sure like your last, the last Q&A, you literally asked, have I seen even any Evangelion? Yes, I have in fact seen any of Evangelion. What's your thoughts on, on Kagura Nagisa from Evangelion? I like him. I don't have a lot of thoughts on him, I just, I just like him, he's a good character, yeah. What are your thoughts on the monotonous yet minute contradictions of man? Man, he sucks. User ND, uh, th that I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. What are the top 10 most epic things ever? Glass frogs, American bull frogs, red tree frogs, desert rain frogs, southern African horn frogs, poison dart frogs, Kermit the frog, Australian green tree frog, Goliath frog, American dwarf frog, this train of Ursa from Little Mermaid. If you live in any fictional universe, what would it be? I don't even heard this before, Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah, it's the obvious choice. You get magical creatures that uh, listen to your every whim. It's relatively safe. I know it's like world ending disasters every single freaking game, but like nothing ever happens that you stop them before it uh, ever happens. Yeah, Pokemon. Pretty, pretty easy answer. Least favorite show villain networks you watch? I'm gonna just limit this to the main three card networks because if I said everything, that would be way too much. That you're probably already asking. Cartoon Network, anyways. From Disney. Disney's really good overall. I'll probably pick on Peanut. Maybe some of the older stuff that like Quackback does not age very well. Uh, from Nick. Oh, frick, I could say so much from Nick. Probably Bunsen's a beast. And for Cartoon Network. Am I gonna say Cartoon Network's reboot? Am I really gonna say that? Problem Star Wars is super ugly, but it's also like genuinely like a, a fun show. If you could actually look at it. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go with Cartoon Network's reboot. Favorite genre of music? I answered that already. Why do they call it oven when you of in the cold of the hot eat the food? I've been trying to think of like a funny response to this for like a minute. I don't have one. <laughs> True Studios is the last person who asked a question. Oh, frick. Gosh, deadly dang it. Okay. Is there a lore reason you're based? God himself descended from the heavens and said, You, you strike following me with a squid. You will be based. And I'm like, Goo Goo Gaga. 
Favorite Overwatch hero, Winston because he monkey. Why are these homies dissing my girl? Oh my god, I, I freaking asked. I, I freaking like had a bunch of joke questions and stuff in the freaking like Q&A announcement. And I was like, oh, someone's definitely gonna like, gonna, someone's definitely gonna ask all these questions. <laughs> and no, no one asked, everyone just hyper focuses that I include freaking Weezer for five seconds. <laughs> That's because your girl's mid. What will be your plans to survive Weird Mageddon? Don't go Oregon and Huntsman Kids handle it. What is your favorite Splatoon character and why is it Big Man? It's Kelly. Big Man's probably number two though. He's he's a really funny guy. I love to hear him big hug. His, his amiibos are very smooth. And that's it. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, that's all of me question. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, this was... A video, I think the first one was better. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching and peace.